So yeah, what we got here, this is the X9, is it? Yeah, this is the X9. You know, just not the new Aero and 15X. We also have the whole new lineup of the Aorus X series laptop. So let's take a look at it. And this is one is right our flagship, the Aorus the X9. You can see how bling bling it is. You know, here's the brief spec of it. I think you guys must feel excited about the CPU you're gonna use. What kind of CPU you're gonna use? Because in before times, you know, Aorus usually features some really premium CPU in the chassis. And this time, we did the same thing as well. Let's start from the X5 and X7 first. For X5 and X7, it will feature the ADA50 Edge processor. But, you know, Intel has done something really strange this time is that in before times, you may, you guys may know that the K, I mean, the K skew means it is overclockable. But however, on the new processor of the ADA50 Edge, it's also overclockable. So which means, now they got two overclockable processor. One is the ADA50 Edge, and another one, of course, will be the first i9 processor, 8950HK. Okay, so um, even the, uh, the 8850H is overclockable as well? It's also over overclockable, okay. so we still keep the great tradition of the Aorus laptop. All the Aorus laptops are overclockable. Yeah. Great. And an X9, you know, 9 feet 9, so of course on X9 we will have the first i9 processor. And with the new platform, all the Aorus X series laptop now supports DDR4-2666. Something amazing, something really exciting is that we refreshed the panel of all Aorus laptops to the full HD ones, but with 144Hz IPS panel and support G-Sync. That's the biggest difference between the Aorus laptop and Aero because it features the discrete graphic output structure, so juicing could be enabled on these beautiful machines. And the I.O. port also been upgraded on Aorus X laptop as well. Now all the USB Type-A ports, now is the USB 3.1, and the same as the Aero, we have enhanced the keyboard, also the audio as well. So let's take a look at these features one by one. The first one will be the i9. I would like to demonstrate it more because it's too unique and this is the world's first i9 mobile processor and we have put it in the X9. It's 6 core, 6 core, 12 threads, I think it's quite simple. However, the standard clock speed of it will be around 2.6 to 4.8 E. That's really amazing. That is and, amazing. Yeah, and guess what? We make it even more amazing with our self-made utility. So you could easily overclock it to 5G. Wow. 5G on laptop. That's, that's uh, yeah, that's I mean, really I can't even get my i7-8700K <laughs> up to that. How many watts is required to get to that? Only 45. 45 watts? Only 45. That's amazing. Yeah. But I guess there will be an additional power consumption once it's overclocked. But the standard voltage, the TDP of it, will be 45 watts. Yeah. And you, will it throttle, not throttle down when under sustained load? You will see when you taste it on your <laughs> hand, you know. And of course, it shares over 50% more performance compared to former KB like CPU, the 7820HK. But something interesting is that we observed you could have additional 10% performance more from the GDX1080 with the new CPU. The test, the test we conduct is that we use the uh, the new i9 processor with the GDX 1080 and have the benchmark comparing to former 7820HK and GDX 1080. And after the test, we observed that the GPU performance is 10% up wow. compared to former. So yeah. it also means that i9 could release the full potential of the GDX 1080. Yeah, and that's right. That right feeds the rumor that everybody's talking about that the GPU was constrained was limited by the CPU, but on the new Coffee Lake Edge platform, especially the i9 processor, this problem has been solved. Yeah, yeah, yeah it certainly yeah. was. Certainly, and, and certainly like Grand Theft Auto V, uh, yeah, yeah, you can yeah. see great benefits, yeah, in uh -huh. Battlefield 1 also. Yeah. Uh, on X5 and X7, the CPU use will be 8858H. It's overclockable as well, 6 core, 12 threads, and the clock speed, standard clock speed up to 4.3 gig. And no worries, we still overclock it to 4.5 gig just with a simple click 
in our self-made utility. Yeah, still amazing. Yeah, and we believe that four D one forty four hertz is the best combination that gamers can have on or its laptop. In before times, I gotta say we have tried QHD ones and also the four K ones, but we realized you guys would like to have a huger FPS count, the fluent gameplay. So that's the reason why we have 4 HD 144 hertz, and、uh, we have some feedback about could the user gain the full benefit of the 144 hertz panel, and we think it won't be a big problem on Oros laptop because there will be a series of titles could be rendered in the FPS over 144. So which means you can fully enjoy the benefit of this new pen. Yeah. All right. So yeah, full HD 144 hertz versus QHD 120. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's you say it's an IPS panel, so it's, it's great viewing angles as、yeah. you can see here already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's nice. <coughs> and、uh, the the the, the color accuracy, where you is it 100% of、uh, sRGB? Yeah, 100% sRGB and. All the panel on the Oros laptop is also X-ray panel certified. Yeah, that's yeah. very nice panels. Yeah. Okay. And we have enhanced the keyboard to fully anti-ghost, which is anti rollover. So it means that we'll never, never miss any keystroke in game. However, all the legacy of this keyboard, such as the perky RGB backlit, perky macro, and it's a mechanical keyboard on the X9. Yeah,、it? this is a mechanical keyboard, true mechanical keyboard on、nice. X9. It's bronze switch, and the travel distance, travel distance has been remodified to a shorter, but it's extremely suitable for those FPS games. Very nice. Yep.、Yeah. And does it have? It has a subwoofer in the, the X7 and the X9 have sub, a subwoofer for the、uh, audio? Oh yeah. No worries. All the Oros X laptops features four speaker system. Speaker system.、Okay. Four speaker system. Two main speaker and two woofers.、Oh, two yeah, woofers. Nice. Two woofers. Yeah. X5, X7, X9. All of them features four speaker system. The thermal system of the X9,、uh, X5 has been upgraded. To seven heat pipes. Now it got more heat pipes and plus two huge fans, so it means it got better thermal capability. Great. Yeah.、Okay. Oros is also one of the world's first first brand adopting Dolby Atmos gaming. You you will have additional features, not just Dolby Atmos, but enjoy the new gaming features such as the gaming radar, which will help you help you to identify the location of sound, which makes your game more fun. Yeah. And here's the versatile connectivity you can have on the Oros laptop, such as the USB 3.1 Type A, Thunderbolt 3, USB 3.1 Type C, HDMI 2.0, Mini DP 1.4, and also we have the high-speed SD card reader available on it as well. You know, makes it more versatile in your game. No matter you want, you want to have、uh, additional external keyboard, mouse attached, or you want to output to. Three display simultaneously to enjoy the Nvidia surround. No worry about that.、Yep. All the packing material of the Oros X laptop has won the IF Award, IF Design Award 2018. Why? Because it is fully recyclable and was made by the Rice Husk. So technically said, it could be eaten, but at it least could it, <laughs> it could be eaten. Yeah, yeah but probably better than my cooking. Ah,、uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> at least it won't kill you. <laughs> That's what I, that is the that's the thing I can guarantee you only. <laughs> and <clears throat> all the legacy of the gaming wonderful gaming features on the Oros laptop has been has been kept, such as the ESS ESS Saber Deck providing crystal clear sounding system, and just like what I mentioned before, the four speaker sound system, two main speaker, two woofer to make your、uh, sounding game more immersive. And also, we have the Cure Double Shot Pro has an excellent network bandwidth management to helps you to never get lag in game.、Okay. <clears throat> and also, we have the GDX 1070, 1080, 1080. Infusing Aztec level graphics provides the smoothest gameplay and the relatively portable chassis. That's the philosophy we want to convey from the Oros laptop. All of this makes the Oros the most powerful. And most exotic gaming laptop ever. So that'll be all about Oros laptop. I agree. <coughs> no, I, I mean this is the first time I've seen the X9, and it looks great. Yeah, it looks I mean, great. I love the design. Uh huh. Yeah. Sure. Actually, we put as much as LED light on it as possible, such as the、uh, two LED light on that. And here, you, the logo is also illuminated, also on the vent. 
we have two and this one is really special for this one this is the call RGB high actually it could be the indicator to no matter the fan speed or the temperature of the GPU CPU and it could also lighting with the with the with the music yeah you can easily set it in our self-made utility right here yeah this is a light control function so you can control all the light of the X9 right here easily very nice yeah, yeah. and uh, are these um, are the fans there yeah 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 yeah. Here, yeah 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 and these two for the air event and these two as well and we have four four speaker which is located these two and two subwoofers right here and you gotta say I gotta say the D cover, the top and bottom cover of the X9 is really cool. It's a fire and phoenix. It is the exactly <coughs> yeah. beautiful design. Yeah, yeah, yeah. very nice. Yeah. Great. Well, we're all excited. Yeah. Well, thank you, uh, thank you, Gandhi. Yeah, yeah, great. Yeah, 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 yeah. And also check out their YouTube channel as well. You know, yeah. You get all the latest updates on there. So thanks for watching. Yeah, thank you for watching. Right. Take care. Yeah, yeah. Bye. Bye. -bye.